Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Today is the second day of Azimio's three-day mass action. And already we are receiving very interesting clips across the country of thousands of Kenyans who turned out to demonstrate. Some of which we are going to share with you in our subsequent videos. In this video, I want us to have a look at an incident that happened today during demonstrations in McQueenie County. And the story has been captured by the star. We know where the star actually lies. Star, police officer arrested for allegedly participating in McQueenie demos. The suspect has since been placed under lawful police custody. And if you have a look at the police report, please be informed that an officer of this command was arrested today, the 20th day of July 2023, along Mombasa Nairobi Highway, at Emali talking to a group of young men who were blocking the road and throwing stones at motorists. The said officer was also seen by his colleagues yesterday, 1907-2023, being among the rioters who were pelting stones at Emali police station and police officers. A police report seen by the star dated July 20, 2023, read in part. So in short, the star is reporting that today, today in Makwene, Mali, a police officer was participating in the demonstrations today. Emali Makwini County. And the said police officer also yesterday participated in the demonstrations. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand what's going on behind the scenes. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? A police officer participating in the demonstrations, and that's not the only incident we have so far seen. Even yesterday, it's alleged that another police officer, through his TikTok account, also exposed to Kenyans, what is going on? Have a look at this short clip before we continue. Mwambia yeah. buy helmet. Yeah. See to the station. Dialogue. Yeah. Dialogue tu ni kwa sasa. Watu wameka sasa. Ama dialogue ifanyike. Dialogue tu. Eh ile ya kusema. Eh. Sakayo must go. Sakayo must go. Ruto must. Eh 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 eh. Kindiki joint. Kindiki kwenda huko. Imagine kila mtu anasema Ruto must go. Uh, Comment. Uh, no dialogue. Uh -huh. eh? Baby man, poor sana. Zakayo and hey, Ruto uh -huh. must go. No, no. At Ruto ni ma. Ruto ma ni Ruto ni ma. Kila mundo ni nani? Aya. Mini benya na soma comments. Yes. That was yesterday. And the police officer was just exposing to Kenyans what other Kenyans are feeling. And from the comments, very many Kenyans were telling him, Ruto must go. And that's what angered the police service who felt he was exposing the unpopular William Samoy Ruto. And now today, we are seeing another police officer being alleged that he participated in the in demonstrations in McQueenie. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? The first thing coming out very clearly, the two police officers, in my honest opinion, are heroes. 
They are on the side on the right side of history. As I talk, Kenyans are fighting for a better governance. A government that is very sensitive to their plight, or rather, government that is sensitive to their plight. Something that is lacking in the current government. The current government is not sensitive to the plight of Kenyans. The current government is also coming out as rogue. When you see top government officials and leaders threatening assassination against some leaders and the top leadership is quiet and even supporting them, that confirms Kenyans are dealing with a rogue government. So Kenyans are calling for a credible government, a government of integrity. And these two police officers, they might be of the same opinion and they are actually on the right side of history, in my honest opinion. And then secondly, that confirms that the top leadership in the police service are not inspiring some discipline. If the top is rotten, the tail cannot be fresh. We are meant to understand and to believe that all this hooliganism we are seeing during Azimus demonstrations are being planned at the top. And even some rogue police officers have been given express authority to use live ammunition on demonstrators. So it's coming out very clearly that the top is rotten. And once the top is rotten, it cannot inspire confidence and good morals and even conduct to the junior officers. And in this case, the two officers, in my honest opinion, have committed no crime at all. In fact, they are speaking. If at all it's true, then they're just doing what the majority are actually yearning, yearning for. And in terms of integrity, if in fact Kenya is currently divided into two camps, we have those who are for integrity and those who don't care about integrity. So a police officer, in my honest opinion, following the instructions being given by this government, that to me is a wrong police officer. A genuine police officer should not be following illegal orders being given by some illegal entities in the government. Something also coming out very, very clearly. If it's actually true that the said police officer participated in the demonstrations, then ju that's just but the beginning. We are going to see such cases across the country. And now that what that means again is that this is a government that is very shaky and not very strong. So as Root and his team pushes the opposition, they must equally know that even that their government alone is not very strong. Anything can happen. The rebellion can even start from the police service. And should that, that happens, then it's just clear that this government will be more rebound. It won't be a very stable government it will be a government on its deathbed. Because the moment the police starts that, then we are also going to see that division even in the military. And the moment the police is divided, military is divided, then that's a finished government. It, it cannot deliver. So it's the people who are going to suffer as a result of that unstable government, which as of now, a majority of Kenyans are really praying for this government to be unstable. It's better Kenyans to suffer, but at the end of it, a rogue government is kicked out of office through the legal ways. That's what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen.
as I conclude, that incident also just confirms that William Ruto has gotten very unpopular on the ground and also even in his own government. He has gotten very unpopular. So things like this, personally, I've never heard of or even seen. Is the first time I'm seeing incidences like this. And I'm taking all those as a confirmation. Ruto has become very, very unpopular amongst Kenyans and even in his own government. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. In case you may want to support this forum, contact me through that number below. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.